Now, what we have here is Trigon Space Story. You know, I've, I've so, sort of seen a little bit. And I loved FTL, and this basically looks like it's a really pretty version of that. We might have a few new things uh, in it, so I'd like to give it a shot. All right, let's give this campaign a try. I wonder how much campaign we actually have. Uh, easy or hard? It's still not easy. Iron Man mode, no thank you. Not yet, anyway. So this is a this is such a this is such a pretty looking vessel. I really like it. Spoon plasma, thunderbolt rocket launcher. So we've got a hard drive operator, an engineer. What's this like? Renegade admiral. It's like some cybernetic human deal here. Shaking off another vanity patrol. You're trying to understand what's going on. Local communication side makes it clear there's a bounty on your head. So we're good to find a safe place until the dust settles. Your friend Ronnie from the asteroid belt knows how best to go to ground. Okay, something's up. The layout of this ship looks really familiar. Doesn't it look that, that way to anybody else? Like, the f the first ship that you get in FTL really resembles this. Like, there's a limit. There's like sort of a line between, like, how far, far it is from, like, you're just sort of taking inspiration from a game, which is what the devs have said that they've uh, apparently came with when it comes to this one, and sort of just lifting things out wholesale. <laughs> Um, we've got basically no, nothing to do here, so let's take them around. Okay, look at this. We have a... We have a hell of a galaxy here. Look at this. I think, okay. Another another difference from FTL is that this is very non-linear. Um, with FTL, you sort of like, you'd go from one direction. You just have to keep going forward. This way, you can actually go around and backtrack. Uh, so it's a little, I thought it a little bit closer to Crying Suns in that way. Uh, in that you can, like, take different routes. See, that, if that's where we need to go... Oh, oh, look at that. It's like sort of... Is that telling us like the path of least resistance? All right, I guess let's go here. Oh, we got an alarm. Okay, some sort of strange ships are different than the usual ones. Seem hostile. Ship suddenly attacks me. Wow, look at that. Now that's a pretty looking vessel. All right, now, Nebula. Nebula, the sensors malfunction, increase the chance of a head-on collision with the enemy. <laughs> You're not a fan of unexpected effects. Better to stay away from such places. Okay, what are we gonna what are we gonna uh, sort of head head out uh, head out for first? We've got their shields up, so let's just do let's do that. Come on, take it. Oh no! Get. Send the, send the missiles to their, uh... Fuck! Okay, no, missiles to the, uh... Sh to the shields. Oh, it's missile... It's... Okay, it's, uh... It's shields are actually down. Just... Whoa! Go, everybody get in there and fix it. Holy shit. Uh, can we hit their, their engine? Oh no, it got away! Damn, okay, so that actually kind of sucked. Let's do, let's go to the next spot. Ooh, very pretty. Uh, Tetacon's system is a total mess. Local drones have rebelled against their owners and trying to destroy the station. Let's call some creatures of artificial intelligence. Should you help the Tetacons? Check the Tetacons. Don't better help the Tetacons defend themselves. All right. Ooh, that's a... Okay. Oh, shit. We have two ships. Oh, God. Okay. We are fighting two ships at once. Um, Let's go to that one. Can we get these things? Take out. Okay, we have both. Okay, that's one down. Wait, no. Stay in there so we make sure we're hitting things. God. Everything hurts. Turning in the safe, thanks you for your help. I repair your ship and upgrade a few of the systems, and you'll leave the station and continue on your way. All right, great. 
Uh, great. 300 hull increased our bounty, which is great. Airlocks, great. Free upgrades to the airlocks. Uh, and everything that's right. Okay, awesome. So we basically got our, uh, got everything back. We took a huge beating. Uh, everything is fine. Just want to make sure everybody's healed. Uh, want to see what we... I think just like in, um, FTL, we want to see what we can sort of get from other, other locations. We only have one missile left. Oh, okay, you're interesting. Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay. We actually got them. We actually got them. All right. Bounty is up. Fuel and scrap and money. Awesome. Hey, we have a level up. Okay, cool. Uh, unit health increased by 50. Movement speed increased by one. Um, he's he's going to stay there. He's going to stay in position most of the time, right? And he absolutely can't die. So we're going to go with Hulk. Uh, oh, we have level ups on everybody, actually. Um, yeah, let's give them that. Oh, it's kind of the same for everybody. Alright. So that's where we need to go. It has a link to other... Let's go to this station first. So we can pick up... Maybe we pick up a few more things. So we have fuel, we have supplies. Travel through the system some across the planet beneath a strange glass dome. It's pretty tranquilly on the planet, and the inhabitants have no idea that spaceflight even exists. Maybe it would be best not to disturb them. Spoil the dome from the outside. When you examine the dome detail, you realize the ancient Atari installed before even meeting the humans. Apparently, this is how they were trying to learn more about humans before they could venture in space. So we collect valuable data and leave the sector. Cool. So we got some money and some fuel. And some food. I can't like, use it as a, I use a burger to represent supplies. <laughs> it's, it's, oh, look at that. And we have, uh, we have, com we have some combat. Uh, an unmanned ship. Okay, so it still has... Uh -huh. It's yellow, so what is it? All right, now it's done. Wow, fire, okay. Ooh. Ooh, look at this. This is pretty. Alright, so a shipyard, bar, trade. Shipyard. So we can fix the hull. Credits to repair the ship. Alright. How much credits does it cost us? 147. Uh, let's... No, I reckon... Trade. Okay, so what can we trade? We don't have a drone. So let's trade that off. I'm tempted to trade this off, but like, I feel that it's better to keep it. But what have we got uh, on offer? Blaster, so we're using Twin Plasma Turret. There's another Twin Plasma Turret. We can sell that. Let's buy that. So I, I like having, like, you know, we have double, we have symmetrical weapons. Symmetrical weapons. Mastiff rockets. Shockwave EMP rockets. Thermal bomb. Kabam bomb. Mines, mines, Twin Plasma Turrets. There's two Twin Plasma Turrets that require four. Yeah, I don't have the money for that. All right, let's... let's start with that. I don't feel quite ready to. Uh... Oh wait, no, that's mining cutter. Two mining cutters. Yeah, I, yeah, I got two of them. That's right. I need lots of supplies, which is fine. Heavy plasma cannon. Okay, this is interesting. Reload time seven seconds. Reload time at least is four. Tempted. I, I don't have the money for it, so it's fine. Look, all right. I think maybe that's maybe that's an, that's it. Uh, yeah. I think that I think that's all we can really do, isn't it? Uh, the bar is where we can hire people. Warrior, hyperdrive operator, warrior, hyperdrive operator, hyperdrive operator. See, I wonder is the warrior? It's obviously for um close combat, but I wonder if it makes a difference for uh. The weapons, although I, because I, I haven't seen a weapons operator as of yet. Anyway, we have, uh, wait. Okay, can we get, 
a weapon, some somebody that's good with weapons. Everyone's level three. I've drove. Okay, so sprinter, close combat master. I want to see what is that. What is close combat master? What does that mean? Sprinter crusher. I can only assume like my assumption is that crusher is like good against like system, if they're doing system damage. Uh, let's see. Repairs 0 0.5. Repairs 1. Ah, okay. So this is like the Mantis. Uh, and we don't have the money for anybody anyway. Oh, well. But, um... And we have more resources, too. Like, we actually have supplies you to feed your crew, as well as have fuel. Uh, and all that. So, a strange man approaches you on a pirate station. So, you just you to your crew side some alternative treatments. I saw the you know, around you. You simply looks the other way. No. Decide the treatment's not for you. And leave. Unmanned Venator ship. Oh, come on. The Venator said that would leave me alone. All right. Uh, let's see. Look at that. Look at that. The engine power. Fuck my life. I've got to, got to reduce that. It's on fire. Go for its weapons. Boom. All right. The other cool thing I've seen is that in FTL, it's always one-on-one. -on -one. I've actually had to fight two-on-one -on -one, uh, in this. So that's a, that's a hell of a spanner in the works. So there's multi-ship multi, uh, multi -ship combat. Not not on your end. You're only, obviously, only on one. But you can fight you fight more than one enemy ship. And that's... Oh, God. <laughs> I, can't, I can't imagine how that would go. But it sort of... It hits all the right notes. Uh, like, you see, you have that. Oh, you can zoom in, too. I uh, have like all the like the stations, the subsystem stations that you expect. They all like very, they're all very similar, ne nearly identical uh, in their uh, functionality. You can pretty much see what they are. Oh man, Venator ship is coming! Ah, you bastards! <laughs> Easy hit. They don't have much health, the, uh, the drones, so that's uh, always a good thing. Let's see if we can take on this uh, this big uh, sort of end boss here, the gate boss, gatekeeper. Well, right, this is a huge rocky ship. It seems to be guarding, guard, it seems to be guarding the gates in the sector. Gather your thoughts and turn on the transmitter to reach agreement with the captain. In response, there is only silence. The giant ship readies for action. Battle is inevitable. Oh boy. Okay. Wow. Look at the size of this thing. Okay. What is he doing? Okay, their weapons are down. Uh, let's go for their... Uh, no, their shields are down, sorry. Where are their weapons systems? Oh, there it is. I can't, like, fuck, no, <laughs> oh my god, get these fucking idiots off the ship, it, it's Mantis race, yeah, basically, okay, I'm gonna destroy it, I'm gonna win, I just lost probably the most. Don't you dare. Oh, 
I think that, yeah, the Rocky are basically the Mantis race. Um, damn it! Damn it! I really did not want to lose that person. <sighs> yeah, we have humans. We have... I don't think... Are these like the sort of the energy people? Uh, energy people equivalent. Uh, and you have... You, yeah, and you have your... Uh, the, the robots... God, we want to get him once this encouraged. Sweet. Damn it, that's fucking horrible. Uh -huh. I wish there was something. I don't know why they sort of lay down like this. As you by 2.2 for every 1 HP, the ship loses. <laughs> Hold damage is halved and the unit is on operator's push on the bridge. I think let's go with that one. Well, that sucked. But hey, we have our... Uh, we have our gate. There we go. Thanks for the game. And that's it. Ah, oh, okay. So that's uh, that's uh, you don't you don't go past the uh, first gate. Well, you know what? That's actually pretty cool. Hey guys, Grumbles here. Hope you enjoyed the video on Trigon. It's a great experience, and I think it'll be a pretty good uh, spiritual successor to FTL. I encourage you to wishlist it over here on Steam and keep an eye out for its release, which could be at, by the time this video goes out. So definitely keep a watch for it. Naturally, if you like what you saw, please leave a like and subscribe here on this video. I post new videos twice a week, and be sure to drop on my Twitch channel where I stream three times a week on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 7pm Australian Eastern Standard Time. So thank you again for checking out the video, and have a great day.